and welcome back. Our guest for today is from Ghana, West Africa, and as we will be hearing from him soon, he is into the act of videography and photography. Hello, Kobe, and welcome to Influencing Right. Hello, guys. Thanks for having me. My name is Bright Ando, and popularly, um, Kobe Dallas, or the streets call me Kobe. Yeah, for short. So, I'm a graphic artist, photographer, filmmaker. That is totally amazing. I've seen some of your work and they are breathtaking. How long have you been doing this? I started videography and photography way back 2015, yeah. But I went full time with this career, I think three years ago, when I had the passion for doing a lot more for people than what I usually did initially. So yeah, I had to step up my game and go professional. And I am so glad you made such a decision because this is definitely, definitely your field looking at all these uh, beautiful works that you are doing. What inspires you? What gives you the motivation to come up with such creative ideas? My greatest motivation is to wake up every day. For the universe to give me a chance to see another day is something I always, always appreciate. Because another day is a chance to write a new story. And you know how much photographers and the whole art industry need inspiration with the fact that um, we create stories from what happens each and every day. So yeah, my greatest motivation is being able to see another day. It's enough for me to continue doing what I do. I myself love to write. I write poems, I write stories. So I am very much aware of the kind of inspiration or motivation that artists in general require. And it is a beautiful thing to hear you say that um, waking up every day is your greatest motivation because that in itself is a motivation. So your work is popularly known by the name um, Blue Lens Studio. Uh, what is the idea behind this name? I'll say I'm popular with the name Blue Lens Studio because way back starting this whole photography thing, I got a chance to put together a team of uh, equally talented and motivated individuals like myself. So I just had to come up with a name and my favorite color is blue and there's a lens and you see we just correlated that together and it's not any special reason for blue lens and that, that's the whole idea and I'm finding it hard to change that name although I've worked with a couple of brands and even where I'm working currently but the blue lens still remains because it's a family it's something I put together um, not because of business but yeah just to put together great minds and I think the fact that it has um, the name of your favorite color which is blue and the idea behind the name is um, based on family and love and great minds coming together, as you said. I think that alone makes the name very, very special. And I think you shouldn't change it. It's quite an amazing and creative name. What achievements uh, have you made or hope to make uh, doing um, photography and videography and graphic arts and all of that? To talk about achievements, uh, there are a couple of brands I'll say I've worked with with regards to graphic design, with regards to photography and videography, um, from musicians to companies to um, other brands that I can't actually mention out loud just like that. Um, I'll say yeah. and. I've been able to cope a couple of recognitions with regards to some stock imaging platforms like Agora Images, where I've had a chance to be in 
top 50 a couple of times, like countlessly, uh, I think more than 10. Yeah, and I got a chance to also win a Bonado.com photo of the year. That was 2019. And I got a chance to also um, be part of the top three with color balance images and, and so on and so forth. And I'm, I'm just glad for the journey so far because I don't like counting my achievements as far as um, the passion is concerned because what what's ahead is actually bigger than what's already behind me. So yeah, all I want to say is don't stop doing what you're doing, that's all. Wow, that is quite a lot of achievement and looking at you, there is definitely more to come. I count myself very, very lucky and honored to be interviewing such an amazing and great person. Anyways, what will you say to anyone watching this right now? Um, I would like to say whatever you are doing with regards to art or photography or videography to be specific, I would say don't stop doing what you do or what you love just because um, you feel um, you are not up to that standard or you are not that motivated. But just understand the fact that it takes time. You have to work on yourself. Get that time to work on yourself because time actually makes things happen. Make sure you invest in your craft, you learn. This time around, things are more easier, so you get a chance to learn no matter what. So invest in your craft, learn more, surround yourself with people that will actually motivate you. Make sure you do what you love all the time. And I, I don't think you will be disappointed. Think that that would be something very, very important that you have to adapt. And yeah, lastly, we are not in safe times. So make sure you wash your hands, you sanitize, you mask up like I did. And yeah, stay safe. Make sure you are always working prepared because the world is not that safe kind. And make sure you follow me on Instagram too. Uh, Dallas Kobe, D A L L A S K O B B Y, or the Blue Lens Studio, which, as usual, I think we'll leave the handle below so you guys follow. And this has been my virtual interview with Influencing Right with Tracy. And thank you once again. I love you guys. Bye. Goodbye, Kobe. And it was nice having you. Hope to see you another time. So guys, that was Dallas Kobe, uh, that is bright, from Ghana, West Africa. He's into videography, photography, and graphic uh, design. If you are a model or you just like to take very, very amazing pictures for that Instagram account or whatever um, project that you are doing, you should definitely contact him. I'm going to add his Instagram account um, below in the description and also attach um, his Instagram name to this video uh, You can contact him. He's very sociable. He's friendly. He loves to work with people You should contact him and he can do an amazing job for you Especially if you are in Ghana if you also want to see some of his amazing works You should um, subscribe to his YouTube channel I'm going to add the link and also mention the name of his YouTube channel in this video and you can go subscribe and keep up with his work. Thank you for watching this video to the very end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments and I'll do well to answer them. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you are alerted whenever we upload a new video. On this channel, we share stories of amazing and talented people. And if you would like to be a part or a guest on this show, you should do well to send me a message on Instagram. I'll mention my Instagram account and you can search me up and just send me a message. Who knows? You might be the next person on this show. See you next time and thank you for watching. Bye.